New renewable energy technology is attracting attention across the globe. Hydrogen is one of the many low-impact technologies that is currently gaining momentum. Countries across Latin America are now viewing hydrogen as an affordable energy alternative for millions of residents. The energy utility serving San Diego County, SDG&E, is developing hydrogen facilities to service inland rural communities. Victor, thank you so much for joining us. Please discuss the status and development of the Palomar and Borrego Springs hydrogen projects and where they fit in SDG&E strategic plan and net zero commitments. So last year we announced our commitment to reach net zero GHG emissions by 2045. We're piloting two very innovative projects that will showcase the use of hydrogen as a critical tool uh, in the energy transition. The first project is located at the Palomar Energy Center, a combined cycle in the city of Escondido. There, we'll install an electrolyzer and solar panels to produce electrolytic hydrogen on site, and the resulting hydrogen will be used for three different purposes. First, we'll blend it with natural gas to produce electricity with the existing gas turbines. We'll also use it as a cooling gas in the combined cycle process. And finally, we'll install a hydrogen fueling station to serve the first fuel cell vehicles in our fleet. Our second hydrogen project is located in Borrego Springs, which is a remote desert community. There, we'll showcase the use of hydrogen as a long-duration energy storage asset. Similar to our Palomar project, we will produce hydrogen with an electrolyzer when solar energy is abundant. We'll also install a fuel cell to produce electricity with hydrogen when required by the grid. This is a critical project because it will allow us to demonstrate how hydrogen can be used to store renewable energy for long periods of time. And by doing so, we will be able to improve the reliability and resiliency of the community. How do these projects, in your view, align with the regulations and policies in California? So California has adopted very aggressive sustainability targets that call for statewide carbon neutrality by 2045. And there is a consensus among experts that clean hydrogen will play a major role in achieving these objectives. And actually in April, we released an economy-wide study with our vision of the roadmap required to meet California's net zero objectives, and at the same time, address energy reliability, affordability, and equity. The main conclusion of this path to net zero analysis is that a massive deployment of clean electricity, carbon removal, and clean fuels is needed to meet these very aggressive targets. Victor, what role should green hydrogen play in the region's decarbonization energy transition efforts? I believe clean hydrogen will play a key role, not only in California, but in all of the Americas as we continue our collective fight against climate change. The exact same use cases where clean hydrogen makes sense for California also apply to the rest of our continent. So clean hydrogen will certainly be required to at least decarbonize hard to electrify sectors and provide seasonal storage to the grid in any country with net zero objectives. What might differentiate the region from others is that we're blessed with extraordinary renewable energy resources across the whole continent. And given that hydrogen allows us to store and transport renewable energy in the form of a clean fuel, the Americas could very well end up becoming an exporting hub of wind and solar energy to other regions like Europe or Asia. Victor, thank you so much for taking the time to share these important insights with us today. And this really will help to inform and shape the policy debate in Latin America and the Caribbean. Thanks again. Thanks, Jeremy. My pleasure.